Just two days remain until the January transfer window slams shut and we start with an impending departure at Manchester United. Winger Facundo Palistri is expected to travel to Spain later today to complete a loan switch to La Liga side Granada until the end of the season. Talks progressed on Monday and the deal was close to being finalised. United are set to cover part of the 22-year-old's wages, but there is understood to be no option to buy. He has fallen down the pecking order at Old Trafford with the emergence of Alejandro Ganacho, but more game time could see him force his way back into Ten Hag's plans next season. Over in North London, and Tottenham are considering renewing their interest in Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher, if, that's a big if, they can offload someone in the process. Spurs are big fans of Gallagher, having tried to sign him last summer, but for a £50 million valuation, West Ham had a £42 million bid rejected for the player that same window. Chelsea are open to selling, as it would help them to remain within the financial fair play limits, despite Gallagher becoming a vital cog in Richard Pochettino's side. Tottenham's Pierre-Emil Hoiberg is one that could make way for Gallagher, with several sides interested, but the player's agent has recently insisted his client has no intention of leaving and wants to fight for his place under Ange Postacoglu. Over at West Ham now, and Saipan Rama could be on his way out, with Leon submitting a bid of £15 million plus add-ons. The Hammers are yet to respond to this late offer, although David Moyes would likely welcome the Algerian's departure given his inconsistent displays with West Ham needing to sell before trying to tie down our Atihad's Jota before the end of the window. Jota, formerly of Celtic, has seen his move to Saudi Arabia not gone to plan and is keen for a return to Europe as soon as possible. This would be a complicated deal to resolve due to HMRC and the issues of tax monies. Miguel Almiron is set to remain at Newcastle after his £30 million valuation was not bet by another Saudi Arabia side, Al Shabab. The Paraguayan 29-year-old transfer would have freed up space and funds for the team to dip into the market, but Al Shabab were only willing to pay around £17 million. And finally, Premier League sides who were dreaming of landing Kylian Mbappe in the summer have had their hopes dashed by the Liga president, Javier Tabas. The PSG superstars contract expires at the end of the season with no renewal in sight. And with Real Madrid eyeing up a Frenchman, Tabas said, there is a high probability that Mbappe will arrive at Real Madrid, more than 50%.